What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. In the Minecraft 1.7 snapshot, Mojang added the ability to slash give items with custom MBT data. And so you can now just give enchanted items with attribute modifiers, custom names and so on. And some of you asked me to make a filter, so I just put an item inside of a chest and then I run the filter on it and it will automatically get converted to a command block. So that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my epic wooden sword, I'm going to call it smite sword and I'm going to put it in that chest. Notice that if you put multiple items in a chest the first item will be taken so if I would take the anvil and the chest instead of the chest too and only the smite sword will be put inside of the command block. So I will just get over to MC Edit and show you what to do. Okay, applying this filter is easy as pie. Everything you have to do is um, select the chest or multiple chests if you want um, to apply the filter on several items at the same time. Then you hit filter and go to, um, where is it? I should actually find it, yeah, here, item to give command. Everything you have to do now is hit filter, it's not that hard, and then you just save the whole thing Okay, so I'm here back in Minecraft and you see here's the command block. I already placed a button there and this is the command it created. It gives me a Minecraft wooden sword. It automatically converted the ID to this um, string value um, because the ID won't be supported in future Minecraft versions. And here is all of the MBT that it could find on the first item in the chest. You see it's not the anvil, it's not the chest, it's really the wooden sword. and it has actually the repair cost too because this is stored in the MBT data and I um, edited the name in the anvil. And here's the enchantment and if I give it to myself, you see I get the smite sword. I have some more examples for you here. And this is the holy golden sword. This is just an unholy cobweb, which is really annoying. Uh. Um, and this is actually my favorite one. It's a thornic. It has, it is colored has an enchantment, a custom name and a durability which is um, this value here. It gets automatically um, set to that damage value too by the filter. This is pretty cool. And last but not least I have a normal diamond sword without MBT data and that works fine too. So as always the download link is in the description and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. See you then next time. Bye!